Hello and welcome back to Terraria 1.3 with Still Wolf 19. This is Still Wolf 19. And as you can see, we are on a sand dune watching over as someone floats in. And apparently, he also has crabs with him. Yeah, let me just kill these guys off real fast. And it's 3 a.m. Let's wake him up. Thanks, I guess, for saving me whatever you'll be a great helper minion. Okay, that's the angler. He gives you fishing quests, stuff like that. I'll showcase those later. One thing I'm going to do is something a little stupid, but I'm going to try to go underwater for a little bit. I did not bring any potions. So this is, uh, this is what I'm trying to get. Recall potion, bomb trident, little. I don't have long... Alright, this is what I was looking for. Alright, we now have a way to get up top. Whoa, I have yet to fight a squid. So, it's not much of an episode, and there's going to be a lot of pauses and all this. I mostly just focus on killing things. I may edit this one into another video. I don't know. But that's just something I'm thinking about. I mean, again, I'm going to keep uh, trying to loot and get an idea of what's going on in this. Oh, come on. Alright, give me what I want. Crap, 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 crap. I don't know if you all can hear me hitting my keyboard trying to uh, swim up fast enough. That's one of the main issues with this. Is that even though you have the flippers, drowning is still probably one of the biggest issues in this. So let's quit this breathing pipe. What else can I toss away? I know I did not do that. Okay. I want to get these chests because they look very cool. And I plan to later do like an underwater themed build or something. I don't know where I'm going to do that. Uh, I truly don't. Oh, that's cool. But this is under the water. And I'm not going to do any Disney knockoff sounds or anything. Then I'm just going to try to not drown. <coughs> this is a little bit of a... Well, well, that's the end of this area. This is a little bit of a late episode for me. It's uh, recording right before dinner time, so this will be a short episode because I really want to get some food in me. Yet again. See what time it is on the clock? Well, that's what time it is here, just at p.m. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad of a haul. We got the angler, and that was the angler. He'll give me a uh, fishing quest, things like that. Ooh, I need to make an area for him to move into. Oh well. What do you say we go ahead and just sort, well, I'm not going to sort through it quite yet. I'm just going to look at it, see everything. Now, the Eater of Soul banner I got from our multiplayer thing when I was just killing Eater of Souls just to, uh, <laughs> uh, how do I put this? Just to relax. Ooh, something else I wanted to show real fast. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I thought I left it up here. That's the alchemical thingy bobber. I don't know how to use it quite yet. I don't know what it's used for. I'll find it later. Ah, there it is in my bedroom. I want to make something. So you need a tinker's table. And don't 
do this to me. Do I need the goblin? What what do I need? Oh whoops. Uh yeah, you can go back there. Well, uh maybe I need the goblin, I don't know. Joe, where is it Joe Burke? Where's my guide? I haven't killed him yet. It gets so annoying trying to find these NPCs at times. Now what I'm trying to create is... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why won't you let me create it? See, Platinum Watch, Depth Meter, Compass. I have... No compass. No, I have the compass, I have the depth meter. And I have the thing. Why won't and I have that. Why won't you let me build it? Well, I was letting me build it the other night and I chose not to. Right, let's take this back up and well, first off, let's get rid of some of this stuff. And we'll take that up and see what the goblin will do for me, if he'll do anything. There's some demonite, use the demonite and all to make weapons, armor, whatever. It's what I was wearing. Where are you, goblin? Okay. And these two pals, for some reason, they like each other. I don't understand why. Reforge. Maybe I can do that and... Okay. I don't know what to do. This is really kind of ticking me off. Because we have the Tinker's Workshop thingy. I'm just gonna say that there's a bug or something. But what I plan to do is combine these things and make a. Oh, what was it? Wreck, Reaker, Wreck. Joe, where is Joe? Or Bert? Is Joe dead? No, Joe's still alive in the other world. Alright. As you can see, you can make it out of platinum or gold. Why it's not letting me do it, I don't know. Maybe I need a gold watch. So let me just quickly run down and see if I have gold. Gold right there. Use the left for a chain. I'm sorry you all haven't sit through this. This would annoy me to no end too. Come on, let's do it. Someone's making a lot of noise, I've been come up the steps, but that's what Happens when you're recording in your own house. And let's run back up here and try it. If it doesn't, then... Okay, there we go. For some reason, it didn't want to do it with the Platinum. Here's the uh, GPS. And if you notice, I didn't lose anything. We still got the time. We got... Uh, every measurement, all that type of stuff. And there's different things you can build. Uh, uh, the end goal is to actually get to the point where you can build a cell phone. So, no, I don't want you to build that. Uh, here's the PDA. You have to get the GPS, the Fish Finder, Goblin Tech, and the REK. Now, the REK, I think, yeah, the REK needs the Talent Counter, Life Form Analyzer, and Radar. I just need to wait for a merchant to come by and I'll pick up the life form and then I'll make that. Now to get the other things to make this such as the uh, fish finder, 
you need to do a lot of the angler quests, and that will then allow you to actually get that. So, sorry about that little pop-up on Skype, someone's trying to message me. So anyways, that's how you find the angler. He'll be asleep somewhere, either on the beach, in the water, anywhere. But it has to be in the island biome, and that's mainly where he's going to be. Now, here's the clother, author, I think I already showcased him. We got bones, banners out the wazoo. A few other things, the water chests I just showed you. Let's go ahead and store those in here. No longer need my ton- Oh, I had a ton skin. Not a platinum. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that can only be used for... <laughs> for the detonators. Oh, I'm an idiot. Chains, things like this. Uh, Actually, I don't know. Can the flippers be made into anything? Let me check. Because that would be so nice if they could. Diving gear. Grants the poly need. Yep. Grants the ability to swim. Grants extended underwater breath. Oh, greatly, not grants. Derp. Yeah, so I guess that's what I need to do. Now, since I just found him and raided the ocean, if you would, I highly doubt I'm going to find another bit of ocean biome to be able to gather everything. So, I don't know. And that's what I'm checking for right now. I'm currently checking to see if this other side has some ocean biomes. And it does. Okay. I'll have to come back over here later and try to find it. If that's how you can actually say it or something. But, yeah. I don't think the breathing reed can be used for anything. So, let me keep asking. That's not him. And I still need to craft the arc. Yeah, this can't be used. This makes black dye, pink thingies just for that. Corruption seeds. Trident. Can the trident be made into anything now? And the trident's not really useful for me. So at least we were able to make the GPS and find things. Now I'm gonna be taking this into our new series. I'm still gonna have the multiplayer. I'm still going to do stuff on that multiplayer world, and I'm going to invite more people in. I have friends who are dying to actually play on it, and I'm dying to see how they can build things. So that will be something I'm going to do, but this new series is still Terraria, and what's going to happen is we're going to be in an expert world. world. So I'm going to link that into the description. Probably link the playlist at some point. And also, I was asked, well, emailed and asked to start linking some stuff. And I'm not really going to do that. It was just a request. Instead, I'm going to tell you this. Most of the games you see me streaming, and you see me stop moving, this is serious, so pay attention. Most of the uh, games I'm streaming, I have been playing with legit copies. All of them have been legit copies off of Steam. You, if you don't have a Steam account, go make a Steam account, find these games, buy them, legally buy them. If I ever have a server or something, and say I find out that you're using a cracked copy or something, it's an automatic ban for life. I will not tolerate it. It's hard enough for uh, game developers, like for the game developer, uh, Don't Starve, The Forest, Seven Days to Die. It's hard enough for them just starting out. These aren't your triple A, like Bethesda, EA, Activision, Blizzard, things like that. This is mostly 
indie game companies that are trying to become a main company. And I want you to support them. I'm supporting them. So with that said, whatever game I'm doing, I might start linking in uh, where you can go to buy them. But pretty much all you need to do is go on Steam. They have a great sort search engine. Use that. Find these games and buy them. And I don't mind if it's a summer sale. <laughs> That's kind of how I got a lot of my games. But even then, just buy them instead. Don't hack. Don't crack. Don't do that type of stuff. And it... I really wish I didn't have to uh, have an email and everything from people who have already found and it. It's nice. I like getting some stuff. I'm not even a uh, blimp on the radar for most of these game companies. They don't even know anything about me. So when it's nice, it's nice when they actually message me and say, hey, we like your games. You like the videos you're doing, we're still going to let you do it. Please, can you just pop a link or something, or make an announcement, things like that. So, that was the announcement. Here's the bone room. That's the announcement for this. Is that I have a new series coming up. It's going to be Terraria. Expert mode. And we're trying, it's not going to be new characters. But we're limiting what we can bring into it. And I'll show you all more in the first episode. But I'm going to go back to my rant. I know I'm all over the place. But back to the game rant. And then I'm going to go for a supper. Game company. I know most of y'all will never, never, never watch this. But even if you're an indie game company or just a big one of those multi-million dollar companies and everything please well first off please allow us to actually do video walkthroughs of your games without being copyrighted please don't link in copyrighted music into your games don't do things like that and if you do we need in writing somewhere on your website massive just right there in writing you give us permission to monetize these videos. And return, you're getting free ads. And the better you make your game, the more people are going to pop up like with this. Terraria. Search for Terraria. It's everywhere. Search for Minecraft. Minecraft would have never made it as far as they did had they not had the support of YouTube. Had YouTube not been there, I would have never found it. I would have never found Terraria. So you get free advertisement. You get uh, more people buying your game to stream it. And you get liked a lot more. So allow us to monetize this. Don't have the royalties. Don't have the copyright stuff. And make sure to have a big sign. Someone saying that we like it if you monetize. And there was a game company. I emailed. Because I wanted to get permission to do a walkthrough. I can't do the walkthrough because my computer sucks. But when I am able to actually get my computer up to spec, aka buying a new computer, I plan to do a walkthrough of these games. So, one was made by Red CD Project. Or was it Red Project CD? One of those ways. And they were so cool about this. I couldn't make for sure. But then they emailed me back. I had emailed them first, but they emailed me back and said, Hey, go ahead. We love it when you guys do this. And there's another reason I love these guys is because they're going back to old, how game companies used to be. Back when there wasn't this, buy here, get this exclusive item, buy this, get all this. Uh, you have to buy the deluxe edition just to get the manual and everything. No. They're actually going back, and it's how it used to be. Back in the early 2000s, oh heck, let's go all the way to the 90s real fast. Back in the 90s, you bought a game. It wasn't this little CD, it wasn't like these little 
pamphlet booklet cases. No, you brought the big, they were outside, cardboard, painted up one end down the other. You would open it up, just the outside. They were attached by like Velcro or something. Open it up, look at it, and you could see what the game was. And then you open it up, and like uh, Warcraft 3, I got a booklet. Just a little booklet explaining lore, explaining units, showing me the tech trees, stuff like that. Uh, Oblivion! I got the uh, collector's edition for Oblivion, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. And it came with a little coin. Well, not a little coin, it was kind of big. A, a booklet, a manual, things like that. But that was stuff that it used to be. You used to not have to go to like Amazon, pre-order all this stuff, get the $200... God, I'm sorry, I'm getting worked up. But anyways, games have changed a lot. A lot of the games I now buy, like if I go into GameStop and buy a game, it's not how it used to be. Literally, uh, last EA game I bought which I want to say was Inquisition, Dragon Age Inquisition. I opened it up and it just was the CD. And it was a little depressing. It's like the manuals printed on the cover. So you have to take the cover out, look at it. And that was depressing. And it's all about saving trees, saving this. But it's just one of those things where it's an added bonus when you are able to get little tidbits collectibles, things like that, and not have to do, like, the special edition pre-order, yada, 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 and it's something I really miss, and it's something I don't think it's right now, when we're doing this, game companies and stuff, and it's sad, but, anyways, there's good game companies out there, there really is, Bethesda, even though I just kind of trashed on them, is a great, is a great company, it, just for how they support the players. If I ever have like an issue with the game, a bug, a uh, question, things like that, I can email Bethesda, and within a week they reply. Uh, it used to be like that with a few other game companies, but there's other ones. Uh, the game company I just mentioned, Red Project CDs, I think that's the name, did this. And they were quick about it, and they were nice about it. And there's different companies out there. And even if you don't get a good reply from a company, we're all humans. Well, for the most part, we're all humans. <laughs> so, just know that, and I'm going to place this in my room, there's good companies, they're bad companies, and even though I just dissed a few companies, they still make good games. And if they didn't make good games, I would stop buying those games. And that's something I've done. There are game companies now I won't buy from. Because they treated their fans like crap, they treated employees like crap, and it's just... Things like that just drive me nuts. But anyways... I have no idea what I'm going to name this episode, probably Angler, and then a Announcement, and then Rant at the end, so. My voice is going a little bit, I still have a lot more recording to do tonight. I plan to do a lot of recording tonight, and it really means a lot to me, everyone, when you all pop in, comment, like, subscribe, clicking on the ads, watching the ads. That's how I'm making a little bit of money right now, is by the ads. If you can click them, great. If not, that's okay. Anyways, this has been Stillwolf19 signing out for this episode. I hope to see you in the next one, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye!